What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another live day trade recap video. Now, we need to start this video off with a conversation. So, as you all probably know, because in my April recap video, I calculated my fees into my PL. I always do that. I don't want to lie to you guys and give you an overinflated PL because SEC slash FINRA fees are still a thing. Yes, Thinkorswim is a commission free brokerage, but if you're buying any American equities, you're going to be paying SEC slash FINRA fees. Uh, so those fees per trade were 21 cents at 100 shares. They're like fractions of a penny per share. So it is, you know, depends on how many shares you buy is how much you spend. But we trade 100 shares of SPY. So our fees were 21 cents a trade. Now, the SEC this week, just this weekend, re- kind of updated their prices for their fees and their fees went up over 4x. I'm now paying just the start of this Monday, start of this week. I'm now paying 93 cents a trade. That is a lot with the kind of strategy that we trade, right? We are scalping the one minute chart on an index. So we don't have a very large profit factor. I think our profit factor, I was going to show you trader view, but I've actually already uploaded today's trade, so I'm not going to spoil. But I know the profit factor was about $1.90 per trade, was what your expected return is with both the wins and the losses. So if you're eating 90 cents away from that and then paying short-term gains taxes on that, you're still making money, but it all of a sudden becomes a problem. You're not making a lot of money anymore, right? So what do you do? You know, you either cry, bitch, and moan, or you come up with a solution. So last night, I stayed up for a while, and I came up with a solution. I created a new strategy. Well, I should say I created a new strategy. I, cr I, I updated the variables for the current strategy. It still trades in a very, very similar manner. Still trading SPY, still buying low and shorting highs but it's doing it on a two minute chart and it is proven profitable on a two minute chart. That's what we're gonna trade today. We're using a two minute chart because obviously it takes less trades and each trade has a higher profit factor, meaning, you know, instead of $1.90 per trade, it's roughly double that, uh, the profit factor per trade. So less trades, so obviously paying less amount of fees uh, and, and a higher profit factor. So you have a better chance of beating the fees that you have to pay. So. New strategy today. At the end of the video, I will give you the code. I will show you how to set it up. So make sure you stick around for that. But for now, we're going to jump into the live day trades. So hit like and subscribe if you're excited. And let's get into the action. Here in five seconds, we are taking the first trade of the new strategy. The two minute strategy. Let me make sure. Okay. I do have to make sure because this is a new strategy. So we are short at 402.22. Um, uh, of course... Freaking TOS is not loading my trade onto the chart. We're up 16 bucks immediately. Uh, let me try again. Come on. Come on, TOS. Show the trade. No. You can see my position here. I don't know why it's not showing it on the charts. Show trades is turned on. You can see the position here. <laughs> and you can see, I guess, where the algo entered. But yeah, first trade of the new system. As I explained in the intro, having to use a new system uh, because... The SEC FINRA fees just quadrupled. So we want to be taking less trades. So we're trading a two minute strategy. These are now two minute bars you're looking at. Obviously each bar represents two minutes now instead of one minute. A very, very similar strategy though. Like it's still, it's still like the same system, just updated variables, right? So obviously if this breaks the blue line, okay. Now we've broken the blue line. Wow, by the way, we're up 70 bucks in this trade. What a great short. Uh, but now... You have to have a bar below the blue line and above the low of previous candle. So when this bar closes in 50 seconds, we won't be exiting because it's still looking, actually, actually, if this bar closes above this line, if this bar closes above this, we will be exiting. I just kind of assumed maybe there it was going to hold down. So I sh never mind. Let's see, 30 seconds. If we close above this, we exit, right? Because it broke the sell condition and it closed above the low of previous bar. Wow, really trade? Really, spy. What a what a bottoming bar here. Is this the is this the reversal start? Is this the is this the big bottom wick reversal start? We did we did big gap down today and we're kind of getting some, some continuation. It's an interesting bottom bar here though. Bottom wick, I should say. 5 seconds and we are very close to this line. Okay, we are out. 
Yes, we are out there. Okay, 31 bucks. First trade of the new system. Once this closes, nice push. Nice. I like when it pushes into a short. Why am I only taking 50 shares? That was weird. Why? What? Did I do that? I must... I think I accidentally clicked 50. Okay, we are short 100. I clicked it twice. <laughs> um, can you please load my trades? TOS, think or swim, please. Okay, whatever. You guys, again, can see my position here at 402 uh, and 3 cents. 100 shares. I don't know why. I mean, I know why because TOS just sucks sometimes, but it's not showing my, my trades on the chart today. But you can see it all here, so whatever. We are shorting this spike. Obviously, SPY is really weak. It's fun to be shorting a spike, according to the strategy. Once again, what is the strategy doing? I know we're using a new strategy today, but it's the same kind of system, just with updated variables that are optimized for the two-minute chart, right? But at the end of the day, what are we doing? Shorting strength into weakness, buying dips into strength. Buy low, sell high. That's what we're doing, right, John? <laughs> Just, we just have very, very, very mechanically exact reasons where we're supposed to get in and out. But at the end of the day, it's just buying low, selling high. We're up 20 bucks in this trade, but we're nowhere near covering yet, so nothing to celebrate yet. I'm gonna try one more time. Please load my trades. It looks so much better when the trades are loaded. I'm trying to make content here, think or swim. <sighs> It looks so much better when you can see my trades on the chart. Whatever. Maybe if I turn this off and back on, it'll fix it. No. Ugh. I'm trying. Ooh, we're up 40 bucks in this trade. Nice. Still not close to covering, so still not time to celebrate. But it is It is uh, immediately coming in our direction, which is nice. Pause. Oh, that's a hard pause. <laughs> Some people will get that. Some people won't. It's okay. Just pretend it's there. Yeah, just pretend it's there, chat. Here, hold on. I can draw it. Hold on. Let's do it ourselves. Let's do it ourselves. Where did I short? Right here. Short. There. Does that work? <laughs> wow, nice breakdown. We're up 66 bucks in this trade. <clears throat> Once again, still not below the blue line. Still not time to celebrate, but don't celebrate unrealized gains and don't sell too early. Get out where you're supposed to get out. Well, I've never bought a put, but maybe today, huh? <laughs> careful chasing moves. Be careful chasing moves. At least if you're going to short it, short it on a spike like, like this, right? Like the strategy does. Obviously, I can't tell you what to do. It's your money, but be careful chasing moves. Just that's a just a good general tip. <laughs> okay, there is I gotta be used to these two minute candles. I was gonna say we're on a new minute, but two minute candles. There's fifty seconds left in this bar. Breaking down, we're up seventy five bucks in this trade now, we're up over a hundred on the day. This uh new system is working very well so far, and and it's ten oh nine and it's only taken two trades. This is, what, this is what I want from this new system, right? Less trades, but a higher profit factor, meaning more ex, more expected value per trade, right? In order to beat these, uh, in order to beat these new fees, right? These new four x more expensive fees, just you have to adapt, right? Can't cry about it. Can't go, oh, oh, woe is me. They raise their fees. It screws me. Oh no. We adapt. We'll create a new strategy, create a new system. By the way, we're up 95 bucks in this trade. You can't, can't just, can't just cry when things go against you or things happen that you don't like. You gotta, gotta be able to adapt. We pretty immediately adapted. These fees just went into effect on Monday. By the way, shout out the Discord. Uh, people in the Discord let me know that those fees increased. Because obviously, I don't look at this every day. Uh, I probably wouldn't have seen this until the end of the month when I uh, do my monthly recap and I add in the fees uh, to my monthly p and I probably wouldn't have noticed until then. <laughs> okay, this is a cover. Well, if, if it closes above this line, right? If it closes above the low of this candle, this is a cover. There's a minute and a half left in the candle though. We got a while. Are you gonna tag these different so you can see the updated profit factor? No. No, I think I'm gonna keep them all together. It's... Maybe I should. 
you know, maybe I should tag these trades differently. When he says tag, he's talking about um, in trader view. So all of my algo trades are tagged algo. So this is how I can see just the report from the trades I take with my algorithm. I didn't plan to tag this trade dif well, to, tra to tag this strategy differently. I was just gonna leave it under the same tag. I don't know though, maybe I should. So that, yeah, you're right. I can see like my, my profit factor of this strategy. You're right. Maybe I should do that. But then, by the way, this might close below this line. We might stay in this trade. We're up 112 bucks in this trade. When so so I still want to see this strategy on this report, though. I still want to see this PL added into my other strategy PL. Okay, 10 seconds left. Can I look at two tags at once? I don't know if I can. I don't if I if I can figure out how to look at two tags at once, then yes, I'll do it. Uh, okay, this is gonna close above this line. So we are out of the trade. Maybe a little unfortunate it tried to break down there, but uh, we did get out and we are up 117 on the day. What was that? What would we make in that trade? We were up like 30 before that. We made like 85 bucks in that trade. Yep, here in five seconds, we'll be getting back short. Unfortunately, this candle breaking down a little bit before the entrance. Obviously, you'd rather be shorting all the way up into the strength, but we are short 100 shares here at 40156. We'll try it one more time. Update. Ah. Oh. Still not showing the trades, but once again, you can see the positions. Uh, let, let's put let's put on here again where we shorted. Can help help paint the picture a little bit. Short. <clears throat> Pushed in too slightly. Uh, with this strategy, there is no stop loss to the short side. Uh, let me. I'm gonna double check that. Pretty certain there's no stop loss to the short side. Short cover with the low breaks the low of four bars ago. And it closes below the low, or above the low of a bar ago. Or if the day ends. I guess that's your holy fuck stop loss is if the day ends. But, <laughs> yeah, there, there is no stop loss to the shorts. <clears throat> I'm struggling to formulate the right question. Trying to understand why funds with much more capital and tens of analyst testing algos could ever not win which we obviously know does happen. Well, this strategy, this strategy doesn't always win, right? Funds do use algorithms like this. I promise you they do. But it doesn't mean because you have an algorithm, it doesn't mean you've all of a sudden found the magic sauce that never loses. Of course this, of course this strategy loses. I just lost $400 the other day ago. But once again, uh, over time, right? Over time, it makes money. But look, I mean, it loses. Yes, it loses. That's why That's why funds sometimes still lose too. Like everyone's system is sometimes still going to lose, right? <laughs> the idea is that over time, it makes money. We are, oh, we're back to green in this trade. I'm never really paying attention. <laughs> two minute bars, I don't have to focus as much because I know nothing's going to happen for two minutes. Don't get out to the close of the bar anyway. So, all right, we're back to green. We're up 25 bucks in this trade. We'll see though, we'll see. Not below the blue line yet. I had a system that didn't lose. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> uh, did it lose? What do you mean you had a system that didn't lose? <laughs> okay, back to red in this trade. Yep, yeah, didn't, didn't quite break down enough for us there. Is this like the base bottom first buy? Oh, my lines, I still have this text drawing on. Is this like the base bottom for SPY? Are we now going to get this like 1030 turnaround? We'll see. We'll see. Three hundred to one leverage short versus long on US tech overnight. <laughs> okay. Yes. That a strategy like that might have a 95% win rate. The issue with a strategy like that is it loses one time and your account is gone. <laughs> the issue with the strategy, 300 to one leverage, yeah. <laughs> man, I've never lost. Oh, that's great, man. Been trading it for, I've been trading it for two months. It's never lost. Well, <laughs> one, one trade, your whole account is gone. Like, <laughs> uh, 
Um, can't lose if you don't play. If you play, expect to lose some. I say this all the time, and I hope it makes sense. But I, I, this is not a quote of mine. I stole this from some other tweets. But you can't expect to be green until you can accept red. Right? Every every trader, even if you just started trading, you know there's going to be red trades. But there's a big difference between knowing there's going to be red trades and really, really being comfortable with them and accepting them. That's when your fear of losing goes away. And that's when you really start making money, right? Fear of losing was my biggest issue before I developed this system was my biggest issue was fear of losing. Kept me out of a lot of trades, made me exit my trades way too early. But with this system and with the testing of this system, now that I know over time it will make money, even though sometimes it loses it loses individual trades, of course, sometimes, but over time it makes money, you know, that takes away all that fear of losing. Like now if it loses money, I'm not like pressed, like I'm not upset, right? And you have, once, you have to really be able to accept that there's going to be red trades before you can start to make green trades, right? Consistently, at least. It's kind of holding here, this trade. We're at break even. It's uh, just been kind of wicky since our entrance. Kind of wicky. Spy still weak, still down 1.7% on the day after this big gap down. Strong reaction to uh, the Fed yesterday. Well a weak immediate reaction than strong after reaction, but now getting a uh, obviously large gap down a week day. We have taken two shorts, we're up 130 bucks. Well, obviously we're in a third short. Um, Trying to load my trades again. It's one of those days where I think I have to restart TOS to get it to show my trades on the chart. It's annoying. Whatever, you guys can see the positions up here. <laughs> Okay, it's just trying to... Okay, this did break below the blue line. So now... Wait, did it? Yes. And this candle closes in 20 seconds. So we might be getting out of this trade here. Because it broke the blue line, and if it closes above this low, we exit. So in 8 seconds... Oh! Oh, it's going to try to close below. Oh, it's going to be very close. Oh, no, it's not. Nice. <laughs> the last 5 seconds there got a breakdown, okay? So now if it closes above this low of previous candle, we get out. <laughs> Yeah, that was about five seconds. I was like, okay, we're probably going to sell here. Bop, and now we're up 65 bucks in this trade. Nice, nice, nice. AMC to the moon. Yeah, nice. Up 10%. Trading, trading where it was now, what, two days ago? <laughs> oh, memers. I love you. I do, I do, I do love the people that, that own the meme stocks. I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think it's cute. I think it's a terrible trading strategy. I think you should not buy and hold a stock for to be a part of some movement or whatever the fuck, but um, they're cute. I cheer for them. I do cheer for them. I hope AMC goes to 1,000. Do I think it will? <laughs> but I do, I do cheer for them. <clears throat> We're getting pushed back up against a little bit in this trade. But this bar closes in 55 seconds. We shall see. Still up 30 bucks. Okay, still up 12 bucks. Still up 10 bucks. Wow, are we going to lose money in this trade? Oh, <laughs> I was <laughs> I was happy. I was happy when it when it broke this low and kept breaking breaking down. I might end up wishing I would have just covered there. Well, not wishing because I'm doing what the strategy tells me to do, but... <laughs> that's funny I was I was happy I was like oh my god yes it's still breaking down of course the next candle is psych psych push back up into your face 20 seconds we're out and we're up 14 bucks alright might end up being not much of a trade here still profitable question mark 10 seconds don't push 20 cents in 10 seconds still 3 for 3 profitable this morning this is going to be Okay, that's actually about a $30 winner. It broke down a little bit there at the end. About a $30 winner. We're up 146. Alrighty, so that wraps up the first hour of the day. 
the live recorded trades in which we finished up $146. If I go ahead now and click on the charts tab, you will see that we are up $201. We took two more trades. The system just hasn't had the opportunity to take a lot of trades today. Obviously, SPY is just super weak. It's not getting like enough bounces to take that many trades, which is fine. I mean, the, one of the big points of moving to this system is to take less trades, but still, you know, make more money in each trade. You no, know, we only took, I think we took five trades and we are up 200 bucks. Like that's what we're aiming for with this system. But we only took two more trades. Uh, we got in a short here that actually ended up being a small loss. And then we got in this short here, which literally top ticked the entrance and then Maybe, unfortunately, this bar just closed above this bar. So we got out at 399.94 because obviously SPY just still getting crushed. But got out where we're supposed to get out, made over $200 today. SPY still pushing low a day, now down 3%. Crazy. It's 12.07, still the whole afternoon to go. It'll be interesting to see where SPY closes today. Interesting to keep watching, but I do have things I've got to get off and do. If we pull up the trader view now, actually, the first thing I want to touch on with the trader view, if you watched yesterday's video, you would have seen that I made about 60 bucks. We ended up making 112. If I pull up the journal, uh, you can maybe see the couple of trades that I took uh, after I ended the video. A couple, a small little uptick on yesterday as well. Just wanted to, to touch off there. Second, I want to talk about the tags. So once again, with TraderView, you can tag your trades. That's how I tag every trade I take with the algorithm, which... By the way, since I started this, since I started trading this algorithm, they've been the only trades I've taken anyway. I'm not trading other random stuff outside of this algorithm, but it's still nice to have them kind of grouped together. So what I'm going to do, I didn't think about this at the time, but I'm going to tag the trade the trades I'm taking now with both. So now the trades I'm taking now, if I go into my journal, no, if I go into trades, the trades I'm taking now, here's the two trades I took at the end of yesterday, by the way, I could have showed you this. Um, I'm tagging with the old tag and a new two minute tag so that that way we will be able to, the the the, stra or the trades will still obviously be added to this cumulative PL. But, you know, if we want to, we can come in and look at just specifically the details of how this two-minute new strategy is doing. Obviously, it won't mean a lot today. It might not mean a lot for a couple of weeks until we start to gather more data. But we will be able to see how just the two-minute strategy is performing. So, um, hopefully that makes sense too. But yeah, uh, once again, first day of trading a new strategy. If I clear this and I go to this... First day of trading a new strategy, uh, a really, really nice start. Uh, SPY is just really weak, uh, and the strategy got a couple of really nice shorts on it. So we are ending the day up a little over $200, which is never anything to complain about. Obviously, the PL continues trending up in the right direction. Yes, we had a big red day, but we know it's just natural pullback. We don't panic. We keep trading the strategy. Oh no, now the SEC FINRA fees are, are quadruple as expensive. It's okay. We update the strategy. We come up with a better system to outperform that. You keep plugging away. You have to keep moving with the times, keep changing with the times. As long as this PL graph continues to go up and the fees aren't eating too much into it, you continue to make money. Ain't nothing to complain about there. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you have any questions about the fees or anything like that, oh, let me not start wrapping up yet. I'm also going to give you all this code. So the code for this algorithm, uh, which by the way, I also did not show you guys this in the video, but if I go to two minute 30 day, over the last 30 days, this algorithm is up 10.4K. So actually up more in the last 30 days than the one minute algorithm is anyway. But I will link this in the description down below. There will be a TOS link. If you copy that link, go to setup in the top right, go to open shared item and then paste that link um, and then hit preview and import. You will have this strategy. Then you'll have to go to uh, studies, edit studies, strategies. You will have to add, then you'll add the strategy that you imported. I did let my stream name it. It is called two algos, one cup. I think it's hilarious, but that explains the name. Don't ever let the internet name something for you, I guess, if you don't want it to be semi-offensive. But um, hopefully, hopefully you guys make not not necessarily even just good. I don't want you taking my strategy and exactly copying it, right? That's not the point of me giving you strategies or really what you should be taking from any strategy video you watch on YouTube, right? Just 
giving you the, the, the basis, the idea, giving you the idea of how this code works. You know, you go back test it yourself, you optimize it yourself, you develop it yourself. And if you would like to, I'll also put a link to the Discord down below uh, where you can come join the Discord and join. We have a whole channel in the Discord called Algo Nerds where we all talk about the algorithms and how we're all optimizing them and stuff like that. So come join the Discord too if you are going to jump on the Algo train to get some help, maybe to provide some input for yourself. Uh, we would all appreciate that there. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully the explanation around the fees made sense and why we had to come up with a new strategy made sense. If you have any questions around it, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video as I post these videos every single day. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this one. I will catch you all in the next video.